So recently I did a review of Microsoft Translator, Bing Translator for Windows Phone. It's now been released for the desktop, so if you don't have a Windows 8 phone, you can still enjoy it for the desktop. So let's do a search. Microsoft Translator. See if we can come up with it. Uh, video like Bing Translator. I'm sorry, it's Bing Translator. It's not Microsoft. So we'll go here to Bing Translator and everything. And it's 50, uh, I mean, it's free, 550 ratings and everything. So let's go ahead and do an install. Now, I like the phone is you could speak a word into the phone and everything and do that. Okay, so it's installing Bing Translator right now. And it says, okay, so we're going to go click on it to launch it and everything. So there's your interface in English to Spanish. Okay. So if we type in uh, hotel, hit enter, it doesn't do anything. So if we type in um, dinner, Encina, okay? And you can actually press on the thing and Cena. it'll tell you that. It's like brother is hermano, of course. Hermano. Okay, so, and if you click on your languages over here, here's all your different languages, and you can offline download available. That's important if you want to do this while you're not connected, especially on a laptop, something like that. You can still do it and everything. You can also translate using the keyboard, right? And, or using a camera. You can, on your phone, you can take a picture of a menu, for example, and it'll do it. So, and then you can also swap which ones, which direction you're going, Spanish to English. Uh, and if we check over here for settings, okay, there's options over here. And then allows this app to send images to Microsoft to help improve Microsoft products and services. Eh, that's up to you. It says maximum history limit is 300 translations. So you can turn that off as, uh, as well. But uh, it's up to you and everything. So uh, if you're ever in that restaurant, you're in that uh, Russian restaurant, you have no idea what you're uh, looking at and everything, you can go ahead and uh, use this application on, on your phone or on your laptop. Uh, but right now, if you just have that real quick question, rather than going to the Bing website for Translate, uh, there's Russian to English. Well, let's, uh, let's change that. Let's click over on this side and go back to Eng uh, We'll switch those that, but now we're going to go to Russian. So we're going to go back to the keyboard and type in uh, brother for this. For this. And I don't even know how to pronounce that, so I'm going to click on this. Brat. Brat. Well, that makes sense. Uh, let's try uh, dinner on this one. I have no idea. Ocean. Well, let's try that one more time. Ocean. Ocean. Okay, well, there's Bing Translator if you ever had that. And I'm sure, by the way, is this, uh, how do I get to the train station? Let's try that. And there it is. There's how do I get to trace it in Russian. And we'll click on that. And it's как добраться до железнодорожного вокзала? A little fast for my taste and everything, but at least it tells you that it'll construct complete sentences uh, to do that. So play around with it a little bit. It's a nice little application to have handy uh, in case you need that uh, quick translation to one of thousands or hundreds of languages out there.